हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर फिजिक्स फैकल्टी सो फॉर द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन टू माय क्लास एंड सो फ्रॉम टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर न्यू स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ राइट दैट इज क्लास इलेवन ओके सो बी सीरियस एंड बी फोकस्ड एंड आई विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट टूवर्ड्स योर सक्सेस एंड टूवर्ड्स द मोमेंट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव ओके सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर वन फ्रॉम यूनिट वन फिजिकल वर्ल्ड सो इन फिजिकल वर्ल्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाट इज द स्कोप ऑफ फिजिक्स वाट इज फिजिक्स राइट एंड वाट्स द मेथड दैट फिजिक फिजिसिस्ट आर यूजिंग एंड वाट्स द मेथड दैट फिजिक्स आर यूजिंग द प्रिंसिपल्स एंड एवरीथिंग विल गेट टू नो एंड ओवरऑल विल गेट टू नो द वाट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन आवर नेक्स्ट कमिंग चैप्टर्स बिकॉज वी हैव टू पार्ट्स ऑफ द बुक राइट पार्ट वन एज वेल एज पार्ट टू ऑफ द फिजिक्स सो आई टेल यू वाट्स वी हैव इन द पार्ट वन एंड वाट्स वी हैव इन द पार्ट टू सो टू डेज लेक्चर मीन सिंस दिस इज अ फिजिकल वर्ल्ड एंड दिस इज फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन चैप्टर ऑफ द फिजिक्स सो विल जस्ट डिस्कस एंड हियर वी डोंट हैव एनी न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑल ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन द क्लास ओके सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्लास सो सिंस यू आर इन साइंस स्ट्रीम नाउ ओके लेट मी रिकॉल वाट इज साइंस राइट सो वाट इज साइंस I hope every one of you know right what is science science is a systematic attempt to understand the natural phenomena in much details and in much depth right so what is science science is an attempt to understand what's happening around us in much detail and will try to gain knowledge from our attempt or from our study and will apply to control the phenomenon means natural phenomena will try to modify the natural phenomena and we'll try to predict what's going to happen in the nature okay so let's write the definition first what is science okay so science a systematic attempt attempt to understand the natural phenomena natural phenomena in details or you can write in much details and use the knowledge use the knowledge so you check the spelling of okay, knowledge so again to predict comma modify and control the phenomena control the phenomena okay so this is science it is a systematic approach by which we try to understand the nature and the natural phenomena okay let me tell you what is phenomena or when i say natural phenomena so what is natural phenomena so when i say natural phenomena is something like naturally existing process right the process which has already existed in nature so let me give you some example say the repetition of day and night right it's happening it's not man made thing right it is naturally existed process repetition of day and night and the earth moves around the sun and the moon moves around the earth the whole solar system the sun the galaxy there are so many things right and when you see the Uh, formation of rainbow reflection of light refraction of light and lots of things which are existed naturally and lots and lots of things are there as you can observe around you right all these are you have surrounded by the natural phenomena so what is natural phenomena it is nothing but the naturally existed process okay so now as you know the definition of science now right okay you please note down this definition and so we can say in short the science is ex- uh, science is about exploring about experimenting about the predicting what's around us okay so this is about the science okay so because there are lots of phenomena happening around us which force us to think like why this process are happening right if i say suppose repetition of day and night so it force us to think right why it's day and night is happening why the sun set why the sunrise how does it happen 
right? All these things, and when we see rainbow on the sky or in the sky, so this is what they force us to think, right? So why this is happening? Sometimes in some places we see the formation of double rainbow. So what is the process behind that, right? And when you study the science, because you guys are now going to study science, and you guys are going to understand each and everything. Okay, what is the phenomena? What is the logic behind that? Okay, so now since I'm your physics teacher, so let's start with the physics. Okay, so let me tell you what is physics first. Okay, so the question is what is physics? What is physics? What is physics? Okay, what is physics? Okay, so physics first, let me tell you, it is the most basic discipline in the field of natural science. Okay, so what is physics? Physics is the most basic in the field of natural science, which includes the other disciplines like chemistry, mathematics, as well as the biology and some other branches like uh, geology, seismology, and so many things, right? So physics is the basic, right? First, it was physics. From physics, every branches of science has been developed. Okay, so what is physics? Physics is nothing but the study of natural phenomena and their manifestation in different natural phenomena. Means, in physics, what we do, we try to understand the nature, we try to understand the logic behind the natural phenomena, and we try to use it to control that phenomena, and we try to build the same phenomena or same, same system like that phenomena. So this is about the physics. So when I say the scope, now we, now we, uh, we know the physics, right? So if physics is what? It, it, uh, it's dealing with the nature, it try to understand the nature, right? And the, uh, the knowledge again, we use this to explore the nature, to control the nature. Okay, we'll try to control. Okay, now, so, uh, let's discuss what is the scope. What is the scope of physics? How big it is? How large it is? Right? So in physics, what we, uh, we are going to have? And what was the physics before? Okay, let me discuss this one. So, next topic is scope of physics. Scope of physics. Scope of physics. Okay, so when I say scope of physics, dear students, there are so many scope, like large, very large. You can count, okay. But let me tell you some basic domain of physics, means domain of interest of physics, means basic scope of physics. So whole scope of physics, it means entire scope of the physics is divided into two domain of interest. One we call macroscopic domain. Macroscopic domain. And number two we call this microscopic. Microscopic domain. Okay. So in some other book, this is what uh, it's given in our textbook. This is macro as well as micro. But when you refer some reference book or another book you'll get mesoscopic domain but here i'll explain everything in terms of macroscopic as well as the microscopic so let's start with what is macroscopic domain okay so dear students macro as the name suggests macro means the big right what is the meaning of macro it's big okay so the macroscopic domain deals with the things around us okay things on the art we call this terrestrial we call this terrestrial bodies. We call this terrestrial bodies, as well as it deals with the celestial bodies. When I say celestial bodies, means the astronomy, like galaxy, stars, moon, sun, right? It is called celestial bodies. So you see the range of macroscopic uh, domain. Macroscopic domain deals with the object on the earth, surface of the earth, as well as the uh, object on the, you know, on the sky. This is celestial. Sun, moon, right? Okay, so this macroscopic domain includes the subjects like, let me tell you, okay? So this macroscopic domain includes the subjects like, say, number one, I'll give you some example, okay? So mechanics. So mechanics. Next, say, electrodynamics. Electrodynamics. And three, say optics. Optics, say for uh, thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Okay. 
so and so on. You can uh, name different two, three subjects are uh, included in the microscopic domain also. So it deals with the mechanics, electrodynamics, optics, and thermodynamics. Now let me explain uh, what is mechanics. Okay, so now mechanics, when we say mechanics, the mechanics deals with, uh, uh, mechanics deals with the motion, uh, motion of the body, means we can say, uh, let me first divide this mechanics into two parts, then it will be more clear. One is static, one is static, another one is what? Dynamics, okay? One is static, another one is what? Dynamics. So when the mechanics is static, it means that it deals with the object addressed, the properties of the object. Suppose I'm addressed, right? Now, when uh, someone has to dis uh, study about me, now when we rest, we got the potential energy and so many systems are there that we can uh, we can, uh, what to say, we can discuss about the thing when the body addressed, you'll come to know slowly, okay. And now, the, this is dynamics. This is the part of a mechanics which is called dynamics. Dynamics means the moving, when we deal with the moving object. This is a branch of physics where deal with the moving object. Means, not that much, but it is slow moving objects, like moving of car, walking of animal, walking of the, uh, like human, like, these things, okay, whatever you see the moving on the earth, these are categorized in the mechanics. Then that special mechanics is called dynamics. Is it clear? So what kind of topics are included in the dynamics? So dear students, when you go to, uh, when we start our chapter two of physics, this is motion in a straight line and chapter three, chapter three motion in a plane, and then we'll get the laws of motion, work, power, energy, system of particles, means entire part one physics, okay entire part one physics is mechanics entire part, uh, part one physics is what it's mechanics is it clear okay so in mechanics we have lots of problems and all the problems are governed or all the problems are based on newton's law of motion and newton's law of gravitation okay so uh, in mechanics we are uh, going to deal with the problems the motion of a body body might be deformable right it may be particle or it may be the entire system, but motion of an entire system we can discuss, we are going to discuss in what? Mechanics. Okay, so the problem of interest, I'll show you here, the problem of interest in the mechanics is motion of a particle. Motion of a particle. Or I can say uh, motion of a body. Particle means I'm just body, I'm trying to mean the bigger one, okay. Body, as well as if I say body might be, if this is deformable body or it may be rigid body. If I say body, there are two types of body, one is deformable, another one is rigid. So in mechanics, we study both the motion of a rigid body as well as the deformation body, okay. And next, in mechanics, we are going to deal with the propulsion of rocket, propulsion, propulsion of rocket by a jet by ejecting ejecting gases okay so when i say rocket you already know right so in make uh, in mechanics part we are going to discuss how we can launch a rocket how we can launch a satellite what is the principle behind the propulsion or what is the principle behind the launching a rocket? It is nothing but the Newton's third law of motion that you already got in lower class. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. Now you have to think by the simple statement means every action has equal and opposite reaction. By using the simple statement, just dear students, think once we can, we can, what we can do? We can launch the rocket. We can launch the satellite. So it's something like physics is very interesting. Okay. So now, in mechanics part, we are going to again discuss the propagation of wave. When I say wave, it may be water wave, and I'm talking with you guys, so it may be sound wave, so everything we are going to discuss, okay? So this is about the mechanics, and the part one physics is our, uh, included, means it's only about the mechanics, okay? So dear students, now next come to the electrodynamics, okay? So electrodynamics, so electrodynamics, what is, it is a branch of physics where we study the electric as well as magnetic phenomena associated with charged bodies as well as magnetic bodies. So especially we'll experience or we're going to study the electrodynamics uh, in 
class 12 okay in class 12 so here in class 11 we are not going to get this uh, electrodynamics but in class 12 we're going to study so what kind of topics it's included in electrodynamics so let me tell you so we are going to discuss a motion of a uh, suppose motion of a source conductor okay suppose a current carrying conductor how it moves in a magnetic field okay how it moves in a magnetic field suppose what is the response of a circuit if i plug it to or if i connected it to the ac uh, source or ac signal and like uh, as you can see in the electrodynamics we, we can study what is the electromagnetic induction right so so many things are there and uh, as well as uh, in case of the, this electrodynamics we, we have lots of phenomena means like properties of charged bodies properties when the charge at motion what it happens right so this whole electrodynamics is based on the law of coulomb that you already know this right two charges attraction and repulsion right coulombs and orsted so orsted i think you already heard the name of the scientist orsted okay he is the first scientist who observed that moving charge can produce magnetic field because at the beginning 400 years ago when the people first experienced the magnet when they saw the first magnet they thought that it is a miracle magnet is a miracle because it can attract the body right iron object so it, it was like miracle uh, uh, about 400 years ago but now we can a magnet is not a miracle for us right we already derive the phenomenon behind the magnet how it works now the people can design the artificial magnet right we can design artificial magnet now okay so this is the you know this is the ability of physics okay so uh, here so this is uh, so as I told you it based on the principle of Coulomb's as well as Arsted and as you can see Faraday's Faraday and Ampere's law so all entire electrodynamics is going to be uh, in the class 12 so it's about the uh, this sorry it's about what Coulomb as well as what Ampere Faraday and Arsted and whole theory was encapsulated by the Maxwell in his set of equation okay so now next come to the optics so it is a discipline of physics which deals specially with the light okay so optics specially deals with what the light okay so what is the phenomena that there are so many phenomena that are shown by the light right as i say you, as you can see reflection of light bouncing back of light into the same medium the reflection it is nothing but properties of light and then when i say refraction of light when i say refraction it is bending of light this is nothing but the phenomena shown by the light and when you come to the class 12 you'll get so many interesting phenomena again so many interesting phenomena again like uh let me tell you suppose bending of light when they encounter the sharp corner that is what called diffraction of light okay and say you'll get the interference of light means the two light waves can superpose or mix together which give rise to the interference of light so so many interesting phenomena are there my dear students and in this optics uh, so whole optics so we are going to uh, include the problems like by using the phenomena of light we'll design microscope we'll design uh, like telescope right so many all the instruments when you see right you see so many things around you like electron microscope microscope simple microscope and then when you say uh, like any kind of machines right fan whatever everything is what is designed by the physics okay so and next is what thermodynamics so thermodynamics okay i'll discuss this detail in my next class but let me tell you in very short in thermodynamic we'll deal with the system which are in equilibrium which are in equilibrium with the surrounding okay which is contrast to the mechanics in mechanics we'll sometimes we discuss the motion a body in a motion but in thermodynamics we'll discuss the body in equilibrium and especially the transfer of heat okay so for today i think we are running out of time so dear students it's about the first class and in the next class we are going to discuss more in detail